Hey guys, Lucky here, and today we're going to talk about how to achieve that vintage faded film look, that urban style grade, high contrast, low saturation, whatever you want to call it. But before we get started, make sure to leave a like below if you enjoy videos like this, and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Lastly, feel free to connect with us on social media such as Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is import some footage. I'm just going to use some night footage of Times Square. As you can see, the footage is super bright and vibrant. To get that vintage look, first thing we want to do is put some of our own grading to the footage. Let's get that adjustment later created and jump right into the Lumetri Color tab. First thing I'm going to do is up that contrast, somewhere around 60%. We want a high amount of contrast since once it's faded, the footage will look pretty flat. Now since most of the highlights are so blown out in these shots, I'm going to drop the highlights down to about 50%. Now I'm going to bring up the shadows so we can see them a little bit better. Lastly, we're going to desaturate some of that color. Remember, high contrast, low saturation. Okay, so I think that's good enough for now. We got some good contrast going and everything looks the way I want it to. Now the idea is we want to fade away those blacks. You can quickly do this by going into the creative tab and using the slider for faded film. If you like the look it gives, then you really don't have to do much from here. For me, I don't really like the look of our midtones being faded, so I use the second method, which is using the curves. So think of these points on the line as your shadows and highlights. Everything in between accounts for your midtones. In order to prevent the midtones from being faded along with your shadows, we need to create an anchor point. You can create an anchor point right along your shadows just by clicking on the line. Next, we want to take this shadow anchor point, this is the darkest point on your curves, and bring that up. Try not to raise it past the horizontal line from the anchor point you just created, else you're going to get some weird color clipping going on. And there you have it, a quick faded film look for your shots. You can adjust these settings according to however you see fit, play around with the settings and curves to achieve whatever you think is best. So that's it for this Adobe Premiere tutorial, tell me in the comments below what you think the next tutorial should be. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos in the future. And as always, take my words with a grain of rice.